morning and welcome to a Saturday day in the life video during quarantine. We are up. I just made some whipped coffee, which has been absolutely the drink of our quarantine. If you are new around here or new to the internet, because it's all over the internet, it's equal parts instant coffee, sugar, and hot water, and then you either whisk it by hand or with a whisk mix attachment, which is what I did this time um, for a few minutes until it becomes whipped and then you add it on top of iced milk. It's delicious. Nora's over here playing in her seat. We have some biscuits in the oven that Riley popped in there earlier. So we're gonna make some breakfast as a family um, and then we will see where the day takes us. I'm sure it will be wild and exciting. We'll see. All right, we've got biscuits with butter and grape jelly. If you know, you know. Hey guys, so I just took a nice long weekend shower usually at least once a weekend i'm able to do that because riley can hang out with nora for a while and i get to just like i exfoliated and shaved my legs i feel like a whole new woman so i'm doing my new dermalogica skincare routine right now so i wanted to show it to you these products are not inexpensive i justified them because i had been planning as i mentioned in a previous vlog on starting to get facials about once a month because i just felt like i had some skin issues and since that's not an option right now um i figured i would invest that money into this system and i have been so very pleased with the results my skin has felt great over the past week or two since I started using it. So I'm just gonna show you the product, I'll hold it up and show you what I'm using. Um, I'll overlay footage here of kind of the whole thing. So first I do a pre-cleanse balm and then do the special cleansing gel, then the daily micro foley and I only do that in the morning and then the toner and then the skin smoothing cream. So I'm doing this morning and night with the exception of the daily micro foley, which I'm only doing in the morning. I'd like to add sunscreen into the morning, so I want to buy their sunscreen. It has really good reviews. And I'd like to add a more heavy night cream in the evening. Um, but because these products are an investment, I just started with this. So here we go. Let's do my morning skincare routine. And there you have it. There is my current skincare routine. It's probably hard to tell in this lighting and also whenever my face is touched a lot, I get really red, but my skin is really so clear right now. I think part of that also is I've been more intentionally drinking more water and probably maybe even most of all, I haven't been wearing makeup and just letting my skin breathe. But the texture of my skin right now I usually have breakouts along my chin line. I don't have anything. And my nose, I don't know how well you can see. My nose um, pores have gotten so clear. 
since using all of these products. So I've been really, really happy with them. I don't know that I'll stick with them forever and ever, amen, but it was a nice little um, treat, little quarantine treat that I really look forward to doing my skincare routine in the morning and night because I'm noticing such good results. My skin just feels so good, so there you go. All right, let's go ahead and package some Etsy orders. All right, I finished packaging up all my orders. It's a gorgeous day out and I put them out front for porch pickup. I just finished with Etsy as you saw and I got Nora dressed. This adorable little top is from that really nice brand called Janie and Jack and I got it at a consignment shop and I just paired it with these cute little orange leggings and she looks adorable. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair and then we'll see what we're gonna do for the day. Riley's over here in our messy den. All right, so I had my hair wrapped up in a towel for about an hour while I did Etsy, and now it's, as you can see, it's not totally dry, but it's definitely drier. So what I have been using and absolutely loving is this Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. It really works so, so well. Let's see if we can get it to focus here. It works so well. It cuts down on dry time. It smells really nice, but it doesn't have an overpowering scent. It's kind of a tropical scent, so it's nice for this time of year. And it makes my hair feel really silky, and I like that I'm protecting it from the heat. So definitely recommend this. Um, you're just supposed to spray it evenly onto damp hair in sections, comb through, and then blow dry it. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna use my, oh, it smells so good. Mm. Mm. It's like a tropical vacation if you close your eyes. You're not stuck in a quarantine. You're on the beach in the Caribbean. Mm. Gosh, that smells good. And I'm gonna use my Revlon One Step Styler and blow dry my hair. It makes it so easy. Hey guys, it's about five o'clock. Well, it's almost six o'clock actually now. I'm here with my Nor Nor. She just took a nap. Riley put her down for an evening nap. Um, so she's hanging out with me for a little while so he can have a break. And I am working on editing a video. And, um, you know, that's what. That's what I'm working on. So while she was taking her latest nap, I, um, 
got some more Etsy done, printed off the latest orders, responded to some questions, answered some emails, things like that. So it's been a good productive day. This is a very, this vlog is very indicative of what most of our Saturdays are like, which is good. It's very documentary-ish, ask, whatever. This is how it really is around here. <laughs> we take turns hanging out with Nora and then usually we spend the mornings and evenings together during the day. We take turns hanging out with her so that the other one can get some stuff done. Um, don't we? Can you say hello? I think she's still waking up. Say hey everybody. Got some work to do today. <laughs> oh, that's you. Here's what I'm eating for dinner tonight. Just kind of a little smorgasbord of leftovers. So this is grilled chicken we had last night, some cheese, cucumbers, strawberries, corn, and Riley made some fresh rice. So that'll be a yummy little meal. What did we just watch on live PD? <laughs> We're watching the guy that called the cops to help him meet up with his girlfriends to get his cat back that he had all the paperwork for. <laughs> a special Russian blue cat that was gray. And the cops showed up and he was telling them all this whole story about how he dated for 14 months, the whole story about this stupid cat. And, um, and the cop gets a little note and she's like, well, I've got some bad news for you. And the guy looks so scared. <laughs> like it's gonna be about the cat. She's like, I have an, an award for your arrest. <laughs> <laughs> and so he gets a cigarette, he tells his mom that he's got a warrant out, and it's $3,000. And, and how like, does the mom respond? like, we'll get the cat. <laughs> we'll get the cat. <laughs> Which, for the record, we don't dislike cats. In fact, you love cats. I love cats. You have one. Yeah, many. She lives with his mom. Minerva. But it was just funny to call the police about a cat or any animal, and then... Just to moderate, <laughs> to moderate a conversation about an animal and then How get arrested. How do you not know you have a warrant? How do you not know? How do these people not know they have a warrant? When they call the cops up or just to go willy-nilly about town with a warrant on their head. You never know. I hope I don't have a warrant. I almost had a warrant one time because I didn't go to jury duty. Oh, that's right. I forgot So I did have a warrant that. for like maybe 24 hours. But I called and I was like, hey, I'm really sorry I missed that. I'm a student. They're like, oh, we had a warrant out there. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> um, I am going to fold this mountain of laundry. I thought I did laundry this week, and maybe I did, but man, do we have a lot of it right now to be folded, so I don't know what that's about. I just wanted to do a quick little check-in here see how everyone is doing with um, quarantine life and everything that has to do with COVID-19. I know there's a lot of overlap in each of our experiences, but then again, there is, uh, each of us are experiencing this so differently depending on our jobs, the city that we live in, the country that we live in, our age group, whether or not we are in a high risk population or whether or not we have family members or close friends who are in high risk populations. So I don't want to glaze over the fact that everyone is having a different experience. Even though, like I said, I think that there is a lot that unites us right now in terms of experience as well. So it's kind of an interesting, kind of an interesting thing for us to all be going through it uniquely while also as a collective community um so you guys will have to let me know in the comments how you're holding up i think in reflection of this past week being that tomorrow is sunday and a new week will begin this week has been one of the better weeks probably the best week so far over the past month and a half or so since this all really began i think that I have finally gotten to that acceptance stage of grief, you know what I mean? Where every day I'm not like kicking and screaming and just so upset. I have definitely had some moments of frustration. That's been my main negative emotion has been frustration. But overall I'm not 
a total wreck every day. The beginning, it was just like, what is going on? And now I feel like we've settled into, you know, the way that life's gonna be for right now, at least. So there's some good that comes from that because some sense of rhythm is so, I think really so helpful, at least for me. I like having some sort of rhythm to my days. I can't stand when I just feel like every day is like, I have no idea what's coming next. So that's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm actually doing really well compared to, you know, previous weeks. Like I said, I think I'm at that acceptance stage. Not that I am thrilled beyond belief at this, but I think I'm doing pretty okay comparatively. I would love to hear from you. You have to let me know, like I said in the comments below, how you are doing, how your family is doing, whether or not you are an essential worker and what that looks like for you if you are. Um, if you're schooling your children, that is one thing. I My heart just goes out to the parents who are working from home and trying to homeschool their children. It is like two full-time jobs at once, plus whatever other household duties, all the sanitizing, trying to come up with meals all day long, all week long. There's just a lot on each other, everyone's plates. Um, and I've seen out of that <clears throat> stress and pressure, I've seen some people who I think have responded in um, just being extra compassionate and extra empathetic. And as always, there are some other folks who are releasing their anxiety and anguish and anger onto other people, which I mean, that's pretty par for the course for any time in life, right? But definitely been noticing more. I think at the beginning of this, everyone would, from my perspective, everyone was sort of like, we're all in this together. And now it's starting to get more divisive and people are starting to get snarkier and this and that. So we'll see how it all kind of lands. Um, one thing that is, has definitely been frustrating me this week is the state of my house. Like, it's such a mess, y'all. It is such a mess. It really needs to be tidied. And more than that, it needs a deep clean from top to bottom. It needs to be deep cleaned. The bathrooms need to be scrubbed. The kitchen floor needs to be scrubbed. Everything needs to be vacuumed. Windows and mirrors need to be wiped down. So I think I'm going to try to, which I don't mind doing any of that when I have time, but between caring for Nora and Etsy, Right now, it's just been really hard to find extra time um, to do that. I can't really do that when she's when she's in my full care, like when Riley's at work. It's really, really hard to do that. So I know that you guys understand. Um, so I'm going to try sometime in the next week to break. I, I think I need to just create like a master list on my computer. Maybe I'll go do that tonight. A master list of each room and what needs to be done in each room. And then I can just slowly, as I have time, nap time clean style, cross things off. And I think that would make me feel a lot better. I wonder what the state of some of your houses are. I know some people, their houses are cleaner than ever. And I'm sure there are others like me who I feel like my house has gotten completely out of control. It just feels like there's stuff everywhere. Everything's out of place and everything's dirty. And I just want to clean it so badly, but finding the time um, or like when Nora's asleep, sometimes what I want to do is going to be too loud or she's asleep and it's more pressing for me to do something else. So prioritization, we, everybody, kids are not everyone that goes through these same things. So I'm not going to talk for too much longer, but I just wanted to do a little check-in, share how I was feeling, and give you the space to share how you're feeling and how you're doing, and um, whether your house is clean or dirty or somewhere in between. I think it's important that we are all able to sort of just talk about what we're going through. It's been nice to check in with friends and family every day, and everyone just be able to share honestly, because I think when we do that it makes everything a little bit easier because you don't feel like you're carrying the weight of your emotions as much just acknowledging them and moving on so i'm going to finish folding this laundry i'll probably listen to a podcast and i will check in with you guys once i'm finished all right here's what i've just made i finished folding the laundry it took longer than expected because i had to take a break and um nurse nora i shouldn't say had to i got to take a break to nurse my baby and 
I just made this. So I'm gonna go ahead and print it and I'll show you it. But this hopefully will help make this just a bit less daunting because every single room in the house needs to be cleaned. <laughs> All right, here we go. I even added little <laughs> coronavirus. I don't know. There's really no need to decorate this list, but I figured I might as well. So I have divided into master bedroom, master bath, the front room, the kitchen, the den, Nora's bathroom, and the office in Nora's nursery, and just sort of broken down all the different things. Now, hopefully, I will be able to divide these up and like maybe tomorrow do both of these, all these lists, and check them all off. But in the event that I'm not able to um, get them done in blocks, at least I could, like if I have time, I could at least just tidy and wipe down the windows and I could cross those off. This kind of thing just really helps me. This is how my brain works. So I'm gonna go probably hang this on the fridge and see if I can't make some progress on it this week. I'd like to try to maybe film it if I can, we'll see. Oh boy, please tell me I'm not the only one whose house is just such a mess. It's so dirty, it needs to be gleaned all the way. All right, it's posted on the fridge, which makes it official alongside all the cutest Little pictures of Nora. Oh, this was the day after she was born. Look how tiny. Her Easter picture. Nora. Nora's sitting here with the books we're gonna read before I put her down. But first, I'm having her, she's just gonna sit while I put away all of our laundry. What do you think? Sweet little thing. Let me actually, let me move you in. Nice and safe so you can sit right here before mommy puts you in bed. Here you go. I'm gonna read your little books. All right, I'm gonna put this laundry away. Mama Elephant's trunk would kiss and then sway and shower her calf with a wet washing spray. If animals kissed like we kiss goodnight, the sky would turn dull. Yeah. The moon a chalk white and sloth and her cub still kissing goodnight. Parrot and chick would click clack their beaks, kissing click a clack, click a clack, click a clack, click but Sloth and her cubs still kissing goodnight. You getting sleepy? Okay, let's read Goodnight Moon. Goodnight Moon. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. The end. You ready to go night night, my love? You ready for mommy to go put you down? Hey guys, it's almost midnight now, so I want to wrap this vlog up. I hope you enjoyed seeing what our 
weekend days have been like while we are in this quarantine season. Typically we also go ahead and take a walk but the day sort of got away from us today. It was also extremely windy, so windy in fact that we lost our power twice today because of the wind. It came back on very shortly thereafter but we just were a little bit unsure about taking Nora out and having a stroller and all that so we found other things to do but this is definitely a classic quarantine Saturday for us. Spending time at home, getting things done, spending time with Nora, all that kind of thing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you guys are doing and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.